What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke, and today we're going to be revisiting the Bearcat as a part of my Does It Suck series. The Bearcat is the pearlescent doll assault rifle, and it is a grenadier type weapon. The red text says, I love the smell of popcorn in the morning. We can see that it has a magazine size of 39 and a fire rate of 3.1, but obviously that is going to be somewhat different for us with it being a doll weapon and it being in burst fire mode when we zoom in or aim down sights. So let's go ahead and zoom in and we'll see that one burst does consume 18 ammo because it's uh, you know size of three and it does consume six ammo per shot, which is pretty absurd. And you'll notice that even with the corrosive bone of the ancients and the catching of the corrosive damage over time, one burst was not enough to take out my shield, which is probably not a good indicator of, uh, or it's probably a good indicator of bad things to come, but we'll see. Um, I'm redoing this particular uh, weapon because people had some serious qualms with it. They said testing it with zero was bad form, um, even though I don't really think so. But we'll go ahead and use Axton here, and we'll see how we do. You notice that it took like almost two whole magazines to kill that enemy there. That is not a good thing, but... Uh, you know, we'll see how it goes as we progress a little bit further here. I am using a Corrosive Bone of the Ancients, um, so we'll get some extra damage that way, and we'll see how we do. Alright, so let's go ahead and try to kill this Power Loader. Get these guys back grouped together, and we'll kill the Junk Loader as well, and the Bull Loader. So that wasn't terrible as far as crowd control damage goes. Let's go ahead and use Onslaught to try to kill this Junk Loader. Looks like he died, so that's a good thing. Getting a lot of Exploders in this first room, it looks like. Hmm. So, I, I mean, we're killing some things right now. Let's go ahead and uh, hit this Exploder. Huh. It was actually enough to kill the Charging Exploder, which I didn't expect. Wow, the game is going extremely exploder heavy in this first room, um, which, you know, makes it a little bit easier for the uh, bear cat to actually kill things. So, um, that's interesting to say the least. Let's go ahead and uh, kill that guy there. Gives us our kill skill bonus to take on the power loader. I guess one interesting thing to note is that obviously the power loader is not going to reflect any of these grenade or bullets at us, so that's good. Um, now that he's slagged again, we should be able to kill him. Perfect. All right, so now we'll move forward. You'll notice that even though there were uh, quite a few exploders in that room, we still used a significant amount of our ammo, um, even though probably like a third of those enemies tried to kill themselves. Um, so that's important to note. The Bearcat is extremely ammo hungry, and we will determine if it is indeed ammo inefficient on accident. So um, we're just gonna put the turret out there really quickly and uh, find this guy. And uh, I'm going to break line of sight with him just really quickly here. And then uh, we'll... Ah, he backed away. Then we'll go after him and uh, see how much we can do. So it does take over two magazines to kill this guy. But, uh, you know, a third magazine almost killed him. And then the turret finished him off. So that's good. Alright, so we got our turret back there. And uh, we are down to... And right around 546 ammo, and that is well under half of the total ammo stock, obviously. So we're going to hit these and uh, see if we don't get some more assault rifle ammo. And it looks like we did, so that's definitely a good thing. We still don't have a ton, though. Um, we are a little bit above halfway of our total ammo capacity, at the very least. Let's go ahead and uh, get this guy shot. Ooh, see, the range on this weapon isn't enough to quite hit him from that far. Learn something there. Alright. This weapon is just not extremely powerful. Um, it's best on groups, but the single target damage is really kind of underwhelming. We'll see if we can't uh, get these guys grouped up and uh, use it against them. I don't know why that first Quasar got neither of them, but that was a mistake on my part. Huh, somehow that one died. I think it was possibly due to Quasar nonsense, or maybe the Bearcat snuck back there and did a ton of damage to him. I'm not entirely certain. Cool. So with Onslaught active, I'll just run through all of these fellas. 
Perfect. Hopefully we don't run out of ammo in this endeavor. That would be bad news. All right. Just that one last exploder now, and it uh, looks like we're good. Okay. Let this thing blow up, I guess. Ooh, I'm in some trouble. So I'm trying to run away here, but uh, didn't quite get it. All right, so now we got this junk loader here. We'll try to kill it. All right, so we're finally killing some things here. That's good. Turret's obviously helping with the slag. Also good. That's not any good, though. Um, the fact that I got slagged and took mad damage there, that's bad. Those guys are going to be on us very shortly now that the turret is dead, so um, probably need to scoot them around a little bit while my uh, health is super low here. Ooh. Okay. So, we managed to finally get that kill, so that's good. Um, unfortunately... I don't know why the turret chose to go right there. Some of the terrains just aren't good for it. Um, but we got our health back up through preparation, so that's good. Ugh. So as we kill this guy, that will cause the uh, badass loader to spawn. But not too big a deal, really. Um, because we should be able to hopefully kill him within this battlefront bonus. We'll see. Um, I am super low on ammo, but we'll determine whether or not... Oh, man. So I'm just going to withdraw the turret because the turret can't even shoot at him that far. But we do have on the Bone of the Ancients and the Legendary Soldier. It should come, should come back pretty quickly. Assault rifle ammo, we are low on. It'll be interesting to see if we can kill him with only around 210 uh, rounds of ammunition there. All right, so that should get his attention pretty well. Oh, man, his blast radius is so huge with that stomp. It's incredible. I don't quite understand why it is so large. Um, I think that, that is one of the dumber design decisions in the game. After barrels. Anywho, uh, um, so now he's dead and we can't recall our turret. Keep in mind we are at 42 rounds of ammunition now. This weapon is among the least ammo efficient in the game that I, you know, seldom use. Um, but, whatever, let's move forward. Um, it was foolish to die to that stomp for certain, but we did get a second wind. It's not as if the Bearcat's incapable of getting us a second wind in that scenario. But, overall, the weapon, even with Axton, is still entirely underwhelming to me. Um... I mean, it has killed some things, sure, but it's done it in a way that it's been fairly slow and inefficient the whole way, in my opinion. And beyond that, um, oh, cool, that one did mad damage to me. I forgot that they explode for some reason. Um, yeah, but so far, you know, it's been ammo inefficient. It's been rather slow at killing, and it's just... Uh, the magazine size isn't near big enough for its ammo consumption rate, and it's just, overall, not a great weapon to use. But, um, on accident, it is somewhat better than it is on zero, obviously. However, um, that's not enough to make it a good weapon, I wouldn't say. Let's drag these guys our way. Ah, uh, I didn't quite get that hot loader through the stairway there. My mistake. This hot loader we got over the stairway, so that was good. Ugh. We'll kill this R loader eventually. Hopefully that will get that slagged for us before we reload and start shooting at him. And that's good. Um, whoa. Okay, so it would seem that there is a badass loader up there, and that's interesting because uh, I don't know how we're going to deal with that, especially being that we don't have any shots left. 
Hmm, that is quite interesting. Uh, preparation will heal me, I guess. Right? Maybe. Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> We're in a bad spot right now, for certain. I have 36 rounds, so six shots, less than one magazine. Two burst fires. That is just pretty damn poor. Um, we ran completely out of ammo with this weapon. That's so sad. All right, so now we got a couple magazines. Let's take this guy out, huh? Jeez, OP. Let's go find some ammo. All right. So we might be able to kill this guy now. Who knows? Definitely want to make sure he's still slagged. And uh, when he comes, and he jumps around a ton. All right, so we finally killed that guy. That's a that's a positive. You know, we'll count that as a win. Hopefully, he drops some ammo for us. Looks like he did. So that's cool. Um, we'll take that just for sniper ammo. Why not? And then we'll move forward here. Sometimes it's weird how long the turret takes to uh, engage an enemy, I feel like. Ugh, the ammo. What's weird is that those uh, shots, those little grenades on the ground, they do like virtually no damage to me, so I'm not afraid to walk into them. Um, which I can't really count as a positive for the weapon because they don't deal enough damage to the enemies as a result, I feel. Anywho, um, we're almost to an ammo vendor, so that's good because we've only got a very little amount of ammo left to kill these next two enemies. Luckily, before we get to Pervy and his buddies, um, again, there's those grenades doing almost no damage to me. Um, as we get to Pervy and his buddies, we're going to want to uh, restock on ammo for certain. Um, the shift to four-player health scaling should um, really kind of be tough for this weapon to deal with, but we'll see if that's the case. Um, I'm not entirely certain if it will or will not be. What I do need is pervy or something over in this area, so I'm going to try to start drawing at least one of them into this corner. Um, hopefully in the corner he uh, stands an even better chance to absorb more splash, you know what I mean? So um, we'll get him slagged and um, try to kill him now that he's running into some other enemies. I guess with the last part of his life we can hopefully deal damage to two. That will improve our efficiency for certain. Um, we've almost got one junk loader dead here. So that's good. Alright. Um, hmm. Pervy's irritating me. But, whatever. Any enemy that just ignores quasars really... I mean, I don't find that very funny. All right, let's try to kill this guy as we get our turret back here. Okay. So long as they're shooting at the turret, I'm going to try to uh, sneak some grenades in there. Cool beans. Um, unfortunately, this guy came and shot at me, so um, we'll have to kill him. Luckily, he has died. Neat. How does it take that many Quasars to move somebody? Quit walking the other way. Backpedal mechanics drive me nuts. Alright, so I guess we made it through this room. We're definitely not going to attempt to take on the four-player hell scaled badasses. The regular badasses were more than enough for this weapon. So is this weapon as bad with Axton as it is with Zero? No. Does it still suck? Probably. I would say so. 
Um, this weapon is just garbage as far as I'm concerned. Keep in mind that killing Pervy and his little buddies took over half of our total ammo capacity, as you can see here. Oops, as you can see here. So, um, that's interesting to note, at the very least, that the weapon is extremely ammo inefficient. And I feel that even with Axton with Onslaught active, the weapon truly lacks stopping power, which is not something that I feel with, uh, any, any other weapons that I would recommend using on Axton with Onslaught active, especially with Onslaught and Battlefront. I feel that, um, his boost to base damage is enough to make a lot of weapons really powerful, but still not the Bearcat. The Bearcat was still underwhelming to me. Obviously, you saw it perform. We made it through the Washburn Refinery, so you can pass your own judgment for certain. However, um, from my perspective, this weapon definitely still sucks. Ah, here was this ammo chest I was looking for. I knew that there was one over here and that uh, I should have got it. Oops. Anywho, um, the weapon is massively ammo inefficient even with the bone of the ancients a full burst is not enough to break axton's antagonist even with the caught damage over time and so that is pretty damn poor and i think that that tells you pretty much what you need to know about the weapon beyond that it's fairly inaccurate and some of your pellets will miss especially at range and um obviously it has a very limited range as well you can see the arc there just in total, I do not feel that this is a practical or viable, or I mean, viable, uh, you know, I mean, it made it through, but it's definitely not a practical or efficient weapon by any stretch of the imagination. So as always, guys, I do thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Let me know what you think about the Bearcat. Um, some people claim that it's great, but then again, some people claim that the Elephant and Godfinger are great, and those are both shit tier weapons, much like the Bearcat, in my opinion. So one more time, guys, thanks for watching, and I do hope to catch you next time.